Before time began, there was harmony. The world was still. The sun was still. The stars were still. The moon, still. And everything was very peaceful. And then evil, like a lightning bolt, zigzagged through the earth. Shahnameh means Book of Kings and it's the longest epic that was ever written by a poet. It copes with the big themes of life, birth, death, loss, love and then all the bits in between. Well Shahnameh is probably the most famous book in Iran and I would say every Iranian has one Shahnameh in their house. The original idea of making and writing Shahnameh by Ferdowsi was to keep the language, Persian language, Farsi and culture to preserve it. The language is so clear and simple and beautiful. It would say things like, the night was as black as the back of a raven, black on black, or her hair was a thick black musky lasso. And the first time I'd read them, I'd think, wow! At the top of Mount Olbers are two trees, one of ebony wood, one of sandalwood. And between these two trees is a giant nest. And in the nest are chicks as big as you are now. The mother of these chicks is the magical Simorg. She has feathers that outshine the sun, eyes brighter than the stars, and a tail that streams like a comet. I first saw this show at Beyond the Border Festival when there were about 400 people watching it and it was clear that right from the very beginning everyone was so completely drawn into the story. And I've been seeing storytelling for quite a long time but I've never, until I saw this one, heard stories from Iran. And as soon as I saw this show I thought this is an opportunity for us to work together. With Arash's music as well, it, it just is the perfect um, soundscape for this story and they just work so well together. The music of Arash brings absolute authenticity to the stories and a great tradition and you know it's in Arash's blood, it's in his talent, it's in his memory. The background I come from uh, in Kurdish part of Iran, we come from a small minority called Yarsan and the music and the instrument tambour for them is sacred. I try to get that element from, uh, from that musical background, from Zurkhan, from Sufi music, from Kurdish music, from Persian classical music, because they all have different feelings in them, you know, different parts, different phrases, different things that I've been trying to put that colors in the story, like just to help the stories in that point. In front of the glade of flowers, there were girls in a little pool with cherry lips and apple chins, dimpled thighs and amber skins and they were just <laughs> making little boats out of petals and leaves. But he wasn't looking at them even though they were gorgeous. There was one girl dressed from neck to ankle in white and she was just spinning. It's been really easy with Adverse Canva because you've just got everything sorted and you've got these really high quality flyers and you had all the information we needed when we needed it. The publicity for the event has been very good. The posters and the flyer design that we've seen for it have been lovely and have been very present and it's been very nice because customers have come to us knowing what to expect from the show rather than us having to explain it to them. And we're looking forward to producing the sold out show that we have this evening for the Shanami. The crowd in the marketplace could see waves of bravery coming up through the soles of his feet, into his bloodstream, bypassing his heart and going straight to his head and clearing it of all but its target. I just loved it. I was so involved in the performance as I was brought up with the stories. And it was a great summary of what I heard when I was a child. When the first 500 were dead on the ground, he leapt off his horse, 
reclaimed his arrows. It was very entertaining. She got everyone involved um, and the story was very well told. So I, I really enjoyed it. The cool thing about something like this is that it just appeals to all ages and people from all backgrounds. And it's entertaining and it's uh, and she made it really interactive. A cry like a lion. Let's try that again. A cry like a lion. A fist to split iron. A new star is rising, stronger than the bull. He's the son of Rustam. He's wonderful. It's a real show for storytelling aficionados for people who know the big epics and love the big epics and don't get enough chance to see them. But it's also the perfect, perfect show for people who've never been to a storytelling show before because it's so big and so in your face and it's got music and it's got colour and it's got movement and it's like a theatre performance, but it's still storytelling. But lifting up the rim of his dagger's bright steel, he was about to cut off Rustam's head when for love of his life the older one said, stop.